Congratulations, James. How does it feel to have signed your first professional contract? Uh, I'm really excited and looking forward to it. It's a big dream come true for me ever since I was little, playing in my backyard until now. I've always been looking forward to when can I be a pro, but um, especially when you consider what a great club this is and in just a few short years how much it has grown, to be the first homegrown is really special for me. Yeah, I was just going to touch on that. You're making history as the first ever homegrown player here. And that must be a really special feeling for you. Yeah, it's a huge accomplishment for me, but I think it also is a credit to the players and coaches that I've worked with, you know, from the NYCFC Academy and their coaches to the youth national team. I think without them pushing me every day, I probably wouldn't be where I am today. Was it an easy decision to make? In the end, I think so. I think when you consider the coaches and the players at this club, I really thought about how much I would develop being around them every day and in the end it was the right thing to do for me. And does it make it, as a, as a local, uh, local boy, does it make it a bit extra special to start out your pro career here? Yeah, it does. I think being a homegrown and obviously being from New York, I think I have a, a strong connection to the club and the fan base already just because I'm local. Um, and how much can regularly training with the likes of you know, Andrea, David, Maxi, how much can that help you develop? It's, you know, they're all such world-class players. I think being around them every day, I can pick up on habits from them. And then also when you consider Patrick and he plays the same position I do and he played at such, such amazing heights in the game. So I think learning from all of them will be huge in my development. Is that the target, just to kind of be a sponge for, for kind of yeah. from Patrick and from you know Alex Ring and people like that who play in your position? Yeah, definitely. There's always stuff you can pick up on, and I think just learning some of their habits and why they have had such successful careers, I think I can really pick up on some of that. And just going back to um, pre season you had a remarkable pre-season um, with the first team, the first academy player to, to train with the first team. Um, what was that experience like, now you reflect? Um, it was really amazing for me, I think, especially in Ecuador against Emelec. It was the first time I'd really been in an atmosphere like that, and I think I learned a lot from that experience. I think uh, just learning to relax in a crazy atmosphere like that, and also just you know playing your game and not worried about what other people think, I think it was big, a big step for me. And how do you kind of tune, tune that out? Obviously the atmosphere that night was incredible. Um, how do you kind of just go on and play your usual game and spray passes? And yeah, I think that being my first time, uh, all the players around me were just telling me, relax, you know, have fun. And then that just made it a lot easier for me to go out and perform and just do what I do. Can you tell us a little bit about what you've been up to since pre-season um, for fans who don't know? Yeah, so I've been I went back to residency after preseason, and we were kind of preparing for the CONCACAF qualifying and we did well there, you know, that was a little disappointing. We lost to Mexico in PKs, but I think there's a lot to learn from that and I think we're all looking forward to the World Cup now. And um, you were named in the, the best 11 at that tournament and that must have been another great moment for you. Yeah, it was. I think. I think it's an individual achievement, but also goes to show how strong the team performed because I think without the players surrounding me, it probably would have been different. And then um, you've got a busy schedule coming up. You've got a busy few months ahead with the U17 World Cup in mm -hmm. India um, coming up. Um, I mean, how, how much are you looking forward to that experience? A lot. You know, I'm just looking forward to splitting time with NYCFC, but also the national team. And I think I have a lot of amazing experiences coming up for me. So. I'm really looking forward to that. And um, how, will, how will that work? Obviously, you're going to spend quite a bit of time away from the club, but you should get opportunities to at least tra train here. And for the more uh, meaningful preparations for the U17 World Cup, I'll be there for that. But I think when I'm back home, I'll definitely be in with the first team and just training. And um, what could you talk us through your school schedule? You're in summer school yeah. now, right? And what's, what's happening there? So I am taking two classes this summer just to try and lighten my class load for next year, but that'll end in early July and then I'll be in and out with the first team and the national team. Obviously you started out at New York Soccer Club, we went there at the age of 10. Mm -hmm. um, how important was that in, in preparing you for this? I think it was a huge step for me. I think um, considering it's now an affiliate, it has all the same ideas and philosophies that New York City has. 
and I think I was I had such great coaches there that really helped me to where I am today. Okay, and um, how important has, um, is having Claudio Reyna here? Obviously, he's somebody who's been in your shoes and and kind of done so much in the game. Yeah, he's definitely someone I look up to. You know, I've known him for a while since I was at New York Soccer Club, and now New York City. I think is someone I just. I, he's a role model for me and I'm just looking forward to spending more time with him. And I know you haven't spent a great deal of time um, in NYCFC's academy because of international mm -hmm. duty and, um, and such, um, but your brother's here. Um, I mean, what kind of atmosphere is it like? What would, how would you describe it? Yeah, I think even though I haven't spent a lot of my time, I think when I am with the academy, being surrounded by such great players in the academy and such good coaches, I think it's really helped me develop a lot of habits that, uh, that will help me in the next level. And um, in terms of where the level is, do you think you'll be the first of, first of many to come through? I think definitely. I think there's a lot of strong players in the academy who will be shortly behind me. What would you say to, to, to the, you know, kind of the U16s, the U14, what would you say to them um, and sitting here to, to, to get to where you are? I would say the most important thing is just to keep working hard. You never know when your chance is going to come or who's watching. And, when they're watching, but I think if you just play every game like it's your last, then you'll be in a good spot for your next step. Great, and um, what, what do you need to do to go to the next level in, as a player? I think definitely just kind of, as you said, being like a sponge, I have to learn from the people around me, and I think I just have to be confident, most importantly. Great, and the fans are going to be really excited at this announcement. Um, would you have a message for them? Um, I would say I'm just, um, Looking forward to coming in and to contribute to the team, but I would say I'm really excited to play in front of the fans. You know, they're such, in a few short years, they've had such great fans, and I'm just looking forward to uh, being in front of them.